Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is Lady, and today I'm going to show you guys how to catch young, ch uh, young channel catfish in Texas. Uh, there are a couple of things that we need to know about uh, catfish. First off, is that they are omnivores and there's a wide variety of baits that they like. Um, we have some preferred baits here that state pet food leeches, small cut bait, large cut bait, and blah. Uh, but if we read the text up here, it also says verbs, grasshopper, shrimp, crickets, frogs, bread, peas, and cheese. And uh, there's lures as well that you can catch them on, which are cross and crayfish. You put those on and you get. Unfortunately, they're not available at a low level. So we are sticking with uh, float fishing. Uh, here it says pet food, and here it says cheese, and those two work pretty good. Uh, other stuff that is not mentioned in here is also uh, marshmallows and uh, shiners, they work uh, good as well, as well as corn. Uh, but again, those are high level baits, so we will stick with uh, cheese and pet food. Um, another thing that is not mentioned here in the text but does pop up whenever you have got the loading screen is that it says that channel catfish uh, like to um, feed along the bottom. So we need to, these are bottom feeders, so we need to uh, to find them there. And then also that they prefer to be active uh, during the late afternoons and uh, early and, and late evenings. On sunny days you can already start catching them, uh, say in, in late uh, morning. But on uh, cloudy days and overcast days it's definitely advisable to uh, start chasing these in the afternoons and, uh, and evenings. So I'm going to show you guys some uh, setup first. Here we go. I'm using a Telefloat 650 and a Spycast 2000. And the reason that I'm using this particular setup is that uh, even though I did not bring a small cut bait with me, it has to do with the weight of the bait. The cheese it says is light and pet food is light as well. So these two types of bait you can use with your Telefloat 450 and your Mini Spin 800 starting setup. Do note that you cannot set your uh, max drag over 4. It, 4 is the max and that has to do with the setup not being uh, very balanced. If you got mono 0.12mm line on it, um, it's better to use this particular setup in, especially when you want to use uh, small cut bait, because that is one of their main preference bait. Small cut bait, medium cut bait, large cut bait. Um, that is typed as medium to heavy or heavy. Uh, same as small minnows and for that you do need this as a setup to start float fishing them. You cannot use it on, on a Telefloat 450. You will also need a chubby bobber. So that is the reason that I'm using uh, this. Um, Alright, so I'll show you guys on the map where you can find them and it is in this uh, area of the lake and then in particular in the middle sections and the open section not too close to the lily pads and weeds, but in the open uh, space. So that is anywhere between 20 and 30 meters out. Um, for you imperial guys, uh, that is anywhere between 60 feet and 90 feet. And a leader, uh, I set that one between 150 centimeters or 50 inches to up to 210 centimeters or 70 inches. And that depends on where I'm fishing because. For instance, here the depth is uh, 210 or 220 centimeters or 70 inches, but over here it's only 150 centimeters or um, 50 inches. So you need to uh, keep that in mind when you're fishing. Um, but like uh, uh, one of the hints and tips says during load screens that they are bottom feeders. Now you can fish them up to say 120 centimeters. Sometimes catch them even at 90 centimeters. But I would um, advise you guys to uh, fish them more closer to the bottom. Um, yeah, so let's do that before my time runs out, I think. Yeah, I only got like 40 minutes left in game to catch them. So I'm currently standing here. Could also stand on the bridge over there, but I did a movie earlier and that led me to here. We just cast that like so, and there we go. 30 meters. That is uh, perfect. 
And now what we need to do is uh, wait. I'm currently using a hook number four. You can also use a hook number six or a hook number two or a hook number one. I believe even a one odd might work. However, with a hook number six or hook number four, uh, you get a lot more. Uh, these are not the big ones that you can catch, for instance, in uh, Missouri. These are just the young channel catfish and they go up to, I believe, about 750 grams total. So they're not even uh, one kilogram or one pound. Uh, half a pound even, for that matter. Um, in general, they will not nibble a whole lot. What they will do is just nibble once or twice and then do a full uh, full strike. So you will notice it uh, right from the start whenever uh, these guys are uh, are interested. If it, uh, you do have noticed that there is quite a lot of nibbling going on before it does a proper bite, then it's either a radius sunfish, they love pet food as well. And you can find them here. They you can fish them at the bottom, but also a little bit above the bottom end, say at uh, 120 centimeters or um, uh, 40 inches or 30 inches or 90 centimeters. Uh, if you're fishing with cheese and you get a lot of nibbles, that means that there's a bluegill after it. Bluegill loves cheese here in Texas, and those uh, you you can fish at the same depth as the channel catfish as well as uh, a little bit higher up. In the water, so also uh, 120 centimeters, 90 uh, centimeters. Let's see. No, I've got nothing. Let's reel in just a little bit. There we go. I do hope that I start to catch one soon because I already noticed that. Lighting is up. Oh, we got some. There we go. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I uh, moved my rod a bit too far to the right. So that was an error on my part. Let's do it again. Yeah, that happens sometimes. But as you guys could see, it was just one, two, and then boom, he went for it. And that is what uh, what catfish does. When they are very active, uh, currently the, their activity is uh, waning already a bit. When they're truly active, you will see that happen constantly. Now with this, here in uh, Texas, we've got actually a bigger uh, body of water. Uh, it's not like the river in Missouri. Where you, you, you can already fish them like... Uh, uh, 8 meters out, or that is like 3 feet out. Uh, do I say that? No, no, that is actually uh, 21 feet out, sorry. Uh, but here when we do that, we will not get a whole lot of catfish, because the areas up here are more covered with spotted bears, uh, bluegill, white crappie, uh, all that kind of stuff. No. I do hope I did not scare any of the uh, other catfish away with that previous action. They are quite easy to reel in. They will not fight you as much as the uh, small uh, buffalo does or as spotted bass does or the pike. Uh, you of course always need to keep an uh, eye out for uh, low line tension, but in general, um, once you hook them and you start reeling in, it, they come uh, to the shore quite fast. Oh, that was something there. That was a small bump that my body seemed to make, and there we go. So far, I'm not losing this one. This one is actually toying with it. There we go, fish on. Not, and he's jumping. I'm not sure if this is a channel catfish. Uh, no, it is a radius sunfish. There we go. So that one was definitely nibbling more than uh, channel catfish was. 
keep that one just for reverence. Now let's see if we can actually do Cook Channel Catfish. I only need 17 in game minutes left <laughs> and then uh, switch goes up. Ah uh, yeah, uh, what is currently happening, uh, you guys see that um, my bower is diagonal a bit is uh, the water over here it has a max depth of 220 centimeters I'm currently fishing at 200 centimeters and up here it already climbs the bottom to uh, 100 and uh, was it 180 centimeters I believe so that is uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, that is uh, six yeah 60 inches. So that is the reason why my bobber is a bit crooked, but still it will give me uh, enough info. So I'll just leave it. Oh, let's reel in a little bit. I can still see that it moves. It, it sort of trembles very slightly. It does indicate that there's a fish there, and then the moment it will be taken away. Actually, okay. again, a fish that is nibbling. But the moment it gets taken away, yeah. I know that we have a fish on it. Nope, yeah, it's gone. Take it. Okay, well, that's always the case when I'm doing videos. Um, it's like uh, when I do a couple of uh, videos in a row, <laughs> the first two three go perfect but then number three or four or five you'll find that the fish is not cooperating with you and you're not getting uh, a proper uh, catch so now let's move quickly to Another part of the lake. I need to adjust leader depth. Do uh, let's let's go over here and uh, let's adjust it to 150. There we go. Quickly hope that the last uh, five in-game minutes give me that channel for catfish. So I can conclude this feed. Otherwise, I'm afraid I have to redo it. I do not mind redoing videos, but it's uh, some time lost. One nibble, two. Come on, take it now. Yes. There we go. Fish on, and I do think I hooked a uh, catfish here, and that has to do with tension on my line. Yep, there we go guys. Finally a catfish. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's keep that one. And then show you guys uh, catch yourself today. So here we go. Um, yeah, as you can see I caught a bluegill on cheese and another one there. And then I've got one, two, three radius and fish on pet food. And the rest are all your channel catfish. So uh, 700 gram, that one is actually towards the top um, top weight that you can catch here. That one is not giving you a whole lot of experience, only 12. And money wise it's only 31 bucks. And then here we've got one that is um, half the size and that one only gives you 5 experience and 15 bucks. So all in all, not a fish that will give you a whole lot of experience nor a whole lot of money. Um, still. It's, uh, it's good. Uh, in comparison to other fish, so we got 
bluegill up here, which is uh, 4 XP and 4 XP as well, and 15 bucks and 17 bucks. But for instance, radius sunfish, and that would actually help you. Is uh, so if you use uh, pet food for uh, fishing channel catfish, and you do hook a radius sunfish, keep it. You can see the money is quite good on these fellas. So that is 42 bucks, and this one is 39. And here I've got 20, but this one is actually a tiny one. So, yes, um, that will conclude the video for uh, the young channel catfish. I hope you liked it. Sorry that it got a bit longer, and that was not my intention, but the fish decided not to bite. Anyways, um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want to stay up to date with uh, more videos that will be coming soon, subscribe to this channel. Um, also, uh, if you want to see me uh, play Fishing Planet live, follow me on Twitch. You'll find it uh, in the notes down as well. And uh, if you want to know whenever I am going live, follow me on Twitter because I always post up from whenever I'm going live. In general though, my uh, uh, study day of the week is always on Monday. Uh, Monday evening I start streaming at 8pm GMT plus one and you're more than welcome to hop, uh, hop by. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, ask me then and I can show you live what you need to do. Alrighty, so that's it for today folks. I'm going to wish you happy days, tight lines and I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.